This is a short illustration of how the 2250H can be used for vibration testing of desktop fan units. We begin by checking with the vibration calibrator that the 2250 is measuring correctly. The 10 meters per second squared displayed level shown here is indeed correct. Let's now take a known good fan unit, fix a vibration transducer to it and make a measurement which we can use as a reference for subsequent measurements on other fan units. Here we can see the color touchscreen display of the 2250 showing the vibration spectrum for the fan unit we are currently testing. By measuring for a short time and saving this as a reference we can check other units against this known good spectrum. In this example we have created two tolerance windows, one to identify low frequency vibration components which would be predominantly related to the fan's motor and a second higher frequency tolerance window which would be related to the fan unit's blades. This therefore provides information about the main source of vibration when we identify a fan unit exhibiting higher than specified vibration levels. To ensure good repeatability of measurements, the RPM of each fan unit is measured using the laser tachometer probe shown here. OK, so let's take a fan unit from a batch which we'd like to test. We fix the vibration transducer to the fan casing using beeswax and press the start button on the 2250 to begin the measurement. Here we can see the vibration spectrum, however we can use the touch sensitive display to choose a simpler and user configurable illustration of the measurement in progress. Straight away we can see that this fan unit is within specification with the vibration level in both tolerance windows showing as passed. We can also choose to display the vibration levels in each tolerance window and of course we can display the fan unit average or instantaneous RPM. We can quickly and easily document the measurement using user-defined metadata fields. In this example, using the touch screen, we can select the operator from a drop-down pick list, the fan model, the serial number and the status of the measurement. All of these fields can be configured by the operator to include whichever items are required in the drop-down list or as user input. They can also be used once downloaded to PC as search criteria for test analysis. What about a fan unit which isn't up to specification? Well in this case we can see the low speed vibration limit. If the vibration level in this tolerance window is exceeded then the result is shown in red. In the spectrum display, we can see significantly increased vibration levels, particularly in the low speed range. Let's stop the measurement here and document the test in the same way as previously, using a few taps on the touch screen to update the metadata fields. This time, the status was not OK, and the serial number field is updated using the virtual numeric keypad. We also have the option to further document the test by pressing the commentary button and simply talking to the 2250, detailing any particular observations about the fan unit or its operation. This is then stored with the measurement data as a voice commentary. It is also possible to store the raw vibration signal for post-processing and analysis. Thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to this short illustration of the 2250H for vibration measurement.